so I have allowed myself now to basically in the intermediate step to wrap it around the blank and to already basically finish it up so far we have come together where our seams are back basically we wrapped it around now comes the, the part that I don't like at all actually is that I see here the end of my other circumference on the right and in order to really get a nice seam or a nice surf seam I need to mark that in the excess that I had and this will take some practice and you see I cut in I'm bending it up against the ruler and basically just taking that strip off clean that off a little bit taking the ruler as a point not only of reference but also as a bending point for the veneer again this is the way I do it and I bet they're gonna be one or the other hater out there who's gonna try to slay the idea but this is the way I do it it works and it's a perfect solution in my opinion might take a little bit of practice here and trust me it has not worked seamlessly the very first time it does require some practice to get this off that it really comes out straight take that in right here I'm going to take the heat gun again I'm going to warm up the whole thing now if you want to work against these seams and you see for example you do have a slight gap it doesn't fix so, uh, fit so much um, what you can do if you just don't get that gap together um, you can underpaint the blank before you even do it or undercolor the blank before you do it uh, with a similar color of the abalone and uh, good to go sometimes it's even good enough just to take a, a marker and uh, go over the gap with the same kind of color at least that worked out for me now I'm just gonna burnish that because I want to get these cracks nice and tight on the blank so they all come together you see here there maybe you can't see it in the video now but there are minimal cracks in here and these cracks is normal that's the nature of the beast this is the material um, you go and you apply it like so now obviously the seam maybe could be a little bit cleaner but once you get finish over this once you get finish over this you will definitely hardly see it if you have something like this here that you see a little piece that came off what you can do is you can take a, a leftover strip you can uh, it's very delicate you can take off the that has it backing and you could theoretically cut a little piece in so you wouldn't see that at all if that finish goes over that you're not gonna see it so uh, here we go abalone veneer installed hardly any cracks nicely around I hope you can see it in the video. I'm not a video maker guy, so I apologize. I'm using a webcam here. I um, hope this works out for you guys. This is how I do it. It works for me, and I gotta tell you,
whoever's got a rod from me, they were happy with it, never had complaints. It works fine, it looks clean. And if you take yourself some more time, uh, your, your gaps are going to come out, you test it on a scrap piece of blank, and you're good to go. That's how I did Microflex Abalone Veneer installing it with the heat method. Alright, Stritz out.